Hello, and welcome to Get to Know 5210. I'm your host, Brad Bryan, for Healthy Sarasota County and the Florida Department of Health in Sarasota County. Today, we're going to be speaking about an initiative called 5210, which is addressing childhood obesity in our community. And I'm joined today by three panelists. I have uh, Janet Kahn, who is the Executive Director of the Early Learning Coalition of Sarasota County. Welcome, Janet. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I have Kari Ellingstead, the director of the Community Health Improvement Partnership, which is also known as CHIP. Yep. And finally, last but not least, we have Adrielle Zahnheiser, a uh, nutrition <coughs> educator for Sarasota County Schools. Yep. Thank you all for being here. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. So Kari, why don't you get us started and tell us a little bit about uh, your organization, CHIP, and mm -hmm. why you've chosen to focus on childhood obesity. Sure. Well, CHIP is an initiative that was started in 2002 to really get the community involved in prioritizing health issues and then developing action so that we can make a healthier Sarasota County. Over the years, the issue of obesity in our, in our county has become more and more of a of a priority. And at the same time, we've seen these trends in obesity over the decades increasing. In Sarasota County, about half of our adults are obese um, or overweight, and about 40% of our kids in, in our school system are also over, over, overweight or obese. Um, and research has shown that this generation of kids is likely to leave, have a shorter lifespan um, mm. than their parents because of the effects of obesity. And so it really compels our community to take action and do something um, about this major cause of preventable um, death, a major contributor to many chronic diseases. Um, and so this is, this is just mm -hmm. one example um, of how we're working together to address. Yeah, and yeah. Do you, would you say that Sarasota County's uh, rates of obesity in adults and children, do we line up with the rest of the state, with the nation? Yeah, pretty on par, nothing mm -hmm. shocking here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most communities are dealing with this issue and struggling to combat yeah. this epidemic. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. So we have 5210, which is an initiative that's been adapted here locally to sort of address this issue. Could you tell us about 5210 and, and what the components of it are? Sure, 5210 is, is really a unifying message that we're trying to spread in, in different places where people work, where they play, where they learn. Schools. Um, <laughs> Yes. Yep. <laughs> Child care centers. Centers. Yeah. Um, so we're work really working in different settings throughout our community to spread this common message. The five stands for uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. The two is for two hours of screen time or less. Um, and that's recreational screen time. We can't pull people off of their work Yeah, like duties. if I'm working yeah. in front of my computer all day, does that count for two hours of screen time? Uh, well, you know, we'd like to see you get up and moving, but, yeah. Yeah. you know, you can't use this excuse to get yeah. out, of, out of your work, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, the one stands for uh, one hour of physical activity, and the zero is zero sugary drinks. And we're really trying to encourage people to drink more water, low-fat milk, and limit juice consumption as part of that message. Great, and I guess for all of you, what are some of the ways you've been spreading the 5210 message, just sort of in general? Well, I, go, I guess also, I, we could start with some of these materials mm -hmm. that you've created. So we've got stickers, we've got bracelets that help when people are trying to create those small goal or goals. Um, we have 5210 refrigerator yeah, what, what, what magnets. These are magnets, um, and actually when I go into classrooms and talk about the 5210 um, message, a lot of kids already have these. I say, where have you seen the 5210 message? And they say, well, it's on my refrigerator. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Um, because when they go into their clinics and school, um, you know, to have checkups and things like that at school, yeah. the nurses are giving them to Great. these. Great, and what about this booklet? And the booklet is something that um, they can take home to their parents to also share the message with their family. And that, the book that contains information, tips, resources, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lots I, of great tips for yeah. families on how to make the small changes in order to fulfill those 5210 mm -hmm. everyday goals. And I noticed that this one is in Spanish, so that's mm -hmm. cool. You were able yeah. to give it in, in some of your materials yeah. in, in, yeah. in mm -hmm. other languages as well. Great. And the great thing about the message is that we've, you know, our community partners have been really receptive to wanting to be part of this initiative and help us spread that message. And so that's why, uh, you know, when Adriel goes into a classroom, uh, people, kids have already seen yeah, the message. And that's great. really yeah. the point, mm -hmm. that they're seeing this in multiple places 
throughout well, the community. I think that's a good segue to our second guest, Janet. You know, you as a community partner, mm -hmm. you you work with the Early Learning Coalition. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that organization and, and how you've been involved with 5210. Well, we're thrilled to be part of 510. Um, one of the things that Early Learning Coalition does is it uh, works with over 4,000 families each year providing access to child care. And so we have had these materials in our lobby. We include it in our intake packet. So that is one way. And then uh, the other um, initiative that is more relevant to what we're specifically talking about today is that we work with the 200 local child care providers in our community. Okay. And so it's very important to ensure that not only are they providing um, environments that are good for learning and social emotional well-being but that the they are also promoting positive health practices. And what a great way to start as early as possible is to get young children involved and understand healthy nutrition and physical activity and so forth. But um, Brad, we were fortunate because there were platforms already out there that we could build upon. We've had a local program in our community that's run through our local food bank called Growing Healthy Kids. Mm -hmm. And then when Michelle Obama had uh, implemented the Let's Move initiative. It was initially for the K through 12, but then it was brought down to the preschool level. And so that had been strongly promoted already in Florida. So it was a great way to then build upon that, something that the child care providers had already been exposed to, but then to bring the unifying message from our community of the 5210 and bring it to the child care providers. So we did do an initial program last year. Mm -hmm. 25 uh, child care providers stepped up to participate. And it wasn't just that they came to a training and just heard the mm -hmm. message. They had to go back and implement um, a change within their in their center. They had to implement policy changes, things that they might have required differently of the parents. They um, involved the children, of course, in some of the activities. They're growing local, you know, local gardens. They're learning about uh, vegetables and different things. They incorporated it into their typical preschool day, but they had to uh, implement specific procedural changes and, and different things in order to um, uh, get the credit and the designation. They ultimately got a designation as a healthy... Uh, healthy and is this, this is part of the care. partnership yes. between your two organizations, right. the designation? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us just briefly what that is, basically the designation. The Healthy Sarasota County Child Care designation is for all of those centers that have completed mm -hmm. this training successfully, mm -hmm. not just attended, right. but they had to take those steps to do yeah. that action plan that right. we're talking about. Um, and really, uh, as, as Janet was saying, change their school environments and practices mm -hmm. so that it, it was more aligned with this 5210 yeah. message. And then um, the Early Learning Coalition really took it a step beyond, which we were so excited about, by incorporating that designation into their Look to the Stars child care rating scale. Mm -hmm. so oh, wow. It, so they're actually rated on whether they incorporate this message in their yeah, practices. It, it's, it, it's part of the rating system that mm -hmm. looks at quality. And since we believe so strongly mm -hmm. that a center that is utilizing this program will um, uh, receive extra points on that system. So mm -hmm. it's, it's incorporated into the, the rating program. Very good. And yeah. so I'd like to turn to Adrielle, uh, you know, kids moving from the sort of the child care or pre-kindergarten yeah. situation and they're going to school. You, what is your role as a nutrition educator? How mm -hmm. do you use 5210? Sure. Um, so my role as nutrition educator, um, for one, I work for Food and Nutrition Services, and that's the department that um, operates all of the school cafeterias mm, in the, the district. The lunches. Yeah, mm. we're, we're school lunch. <laughs> um, but my primary function is going into the classroom to teach nutrition. Mm. And we've had um, an awesome nutrition education program since 1996. Um, but when Kari presented this 5210 message to us, it seemed like the perfect... Um, perfect thing to add to what we already had going because it was so easily um, adaptive for us and children really responded well to it. Great, cool. And um, what are some of the reactions that kids give to you about um, 5210 when you were going to the classroom? Well, they're very excited. One, because there's lots of awesome material. <laughs> Free stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I bring stickers and wristbands and posters mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. Um, so that attracts their attention right away. But the message is also simple to adapt. Yes. It's mm -hmm. not about all of these goals that you have to do, like putting them on a, a strict diet or anything. You know, it's here's four simple goals. Choose one for the day and um, work on that, and then we'll move to the next goal. So it's, it's easy for them to understand, and they're excited to accomplish something so quickly. That's really great. And, and then sort of 
the family unit, how important is the family in, in some of these issues? Well, I would say, uh, just like anything else, very important. Right. Um, especially when it comes to kids. They need that support at home. For you making know? lifestyle changes Absolutely. or trying to be healthier. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's where the booklet comes in handy. Mm -hmm. That's where um, when they wear their wristbands home, their parents ask, what is that? What's going on there? And, and the kids can relay the message. They know, you know four simple things that they can tell their parents and then uh, get the family on board as well. You know, one of the things that the child care centers reported to us when we did the focus group is that the children involve their families. Yeah. So the children go home and say, no, I don't want that in my lunchbox. I want something mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Or they bring back and say, well, let's try this vegetable I learned about today. And so, it's, so it's, it's, and, they and, really and can drive the change. Parents out there know it's hard to get your kids to try new, right. new foods, new fruits yeah. and vegetables especially. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, one of my... Um, one of the lessons that I do is a tasting party, and that's usually the end. I usually do a, th a series of three lessons. The tasting party is where they get to try new fruits and vegetables. Mm. So I'm encouraging mm -hmm. them to eat five fruits and vegetables, but a lot of kids have never even had broccoli before. Um, it's, it's surprising the amount of um, children that have never seen fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so when they try these things in our lesson, they go home to their parents asking for them and yeah. begging for right all of these new things that they got to try. And it's not like it's exotic stuff. It's carrots and broccoli and <laughs> squash, you know. <laughs> Very good. Well, we just have one minute, and I just think briefly, what do, you, uh, what do you see as new or different about 5210 versus maybe existing messages? Well, um, 5210, as Janet was touching, upon, touching on, um, I think that we've been able to implement this here in a way that aligns with national initiatives mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Let's Move, but we've also been able to make it our own. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the importance of having this unifying right. message. The consistency. Is and that so it's vital. throughout Get our Get everybody community. on the same right. page. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll take a short break here, and we'll be back with more from Get to Know 5210. Hi, I'm Ro with Healthy Sarasota County, and I'm here to tell you about 5210. 5210 is a set of four simple, everyday goals to help you and your family live a healthier lifestyle. Bye! Eat fruits and vegetables at least five times a day. With fruits and vegetables, more matters. At mealtime, try to fill half your plate with fruits and veggies. Choose fresh, frozen, or canned. They're all nutritious, and they make great snacks. Two! Cut screen time to two hours or less a day. Screen time is any free time spent in front of a screen, whether it's TV, computers, video games, or mobile devices. Make two hours your daily max. Research shows kids under two shouldn't get any screen time at all. Why? Be physically active at least one hour every day. Physical activity is so important for health and well-being. It helps us feel better, have more energy, and be more productive. An hour a day may seem like a lot, but you'll be surprised how fast it adds up when you find fun activities for you and your family. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you're active. Zero! No soda, sports, or fruit drinks. Sugary drinks like soda, sweet tea, sports and energy drinks don't have a lot of nutrients, but they do have a lot of calories. Try to avoid them altogether. Even 100% fruit juice has a lot of sugar. Instead, drink more water and non-fat or 1% milk. They're the best choice when you're thirsty. Remember, these are goals you can build up to. Just thinking about 5210 every day and making small changes are important steps. So get started. Visit HealthySarasota.com for more tips and resources. And make 5210 your goal every day.
Welcome back to Get to Know 5210 on the Education Channel. We've been discussing an, an initiative called 5210 and how it's being used to address obesity here in our community. And I want to get back to this swag because all this stuff, kids love it, but do mm -hmm. they, do they, is that all they, they care about or are you seeing that they're actually following up? No, I've seen follow up. They don't just take the sticker and, you know, forget to take it off and it goes in the laundry. Um, a lot of kids, uh, my series of lessons is like three lessons. Oh. So I'll see them one week, I'll come back a week or two later and kids are still wearing the wristbands that I gave them. And we talk about, you know, we talked about these four goals, now who worked on a goal? And, and they're what color you coded do. for what goal you've chosen. Exactly, right? yeah. so for example, I have my water bottle here, because <laughs> um, I teach kindergartners. So a five-year-old, sometimes their wrist is a little too small for this, so I encourage them to put their wristband on their water bottle, mm -hmm. and that reminds them, you know, supposed to drink water instead of soda. Um, but a lot of them come back and they tell me, you know, I, I swapped my soda for water for one week in a row, or I ate five fruits and vegetables. They get really excited about sharing how they've accomplished these mm -hmm. goals. Great, well that is a great uh, segue to this uh, Healthy Heroes program, which is mm -hmm. a way that the, your mm -hmm. organization and the health department are getting a little bit in depth with some of the kids about uh, this message and healthier lifestyles. Can you tell us about Healthy Heroes? Sure, sure. Um, a lot of what we've been talking about is really um, prevention focused, but um, our physicians and our medical community play such an important part, not just in the prevention, but also the treatment of obesity. So for those families um, that might have kids that are obese or overweight, we're encouraging them at the health department to attend these Healthy Heroes visits. And these are group visits, or otherwise known as shared visits, where um, we have multiple patients um, <clears throat> that are working on healthy weight goals. And they come together with their families, usually six to eight families. Um, they get some more uh, comprehensive and targeted time with the physician, which is great. But then they also get to learn from each other in that setting. So they're talking about the successes that they've had or the challenges that they've had in terms of meeting those 5210 goals. Is it like a like a doctor visit kind of setting? Is that It is a doctor visit, but it's more conversational and um, it's it's a chance for there just to be more dialogue um, about these 5 5210 goals and and how to reach them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, we had a chance earlier to sit down and speak with a student named Melody and her mother, Yolanda. Melody was referred to the Healthy Heroes program by her pediatrician, so let's hear what she had to say. Hi, Melody, Yolanda, thank you so much for joining us today. It's, we're really excited to have you. So, Melody, I just want to start right away and have you tell me a little bit about Healthy Heroes and what you did there. Well, we learned not to eat, um, to eat healthy to exercise, not to like watch TV every single day. You have to move around. You just can't just like stay in front of the TV and just like look and look and look. Mm -hmm. You have to do something. Mm -hmm. Just and what's the fourth it. goal? Do you remember five, two, one, and zero? Um, zero is to not eat soda uh -huh. or drink soda. And like, here's a story I have to explain. Um, when we went home after the lesson, mm -hmm. we like. There's like two bottles of soda in our thing in our refrigerator. We just like took it out and like just threw it out the door. Like, oh. say bye bye soda. Uh -huh. It's just gone. And you got you don't have soda in your no, house no. anymore. No, no. Oh, that's awesome. So how did just drink water or more water than milk, skim milk, milk and the skim milk too. Water and skim milk, great, mm -hmm. great. And was that your main goal? That zero was that the one that you focused on? Yes, and the TV one because uh -huh. I used to like just watch and watch and uh -huh. watch. But now I have all kinds of things to do. Like I do run club at my school, I do gymnastics, and like just, that's like my whole week, every single week I do that. And you so love those activities? Yes. And what, and so was it the Healthy Heroes program that kind of inspired you to look at some, doing some of those yes, activities? Great. Yes, did, because before I didn't have, like my mom has this calendar, and before we didn't have too many things on the calendar. Mm -hmm. just, but now it's like full and full. My mom never gets to have a break at all. <laughs> Is yeah. that true? Yeah, that's true. Because in my home, um, every day I say, okay, every day we go into 30 minutes or one hour, run a bike, and then yeah, walk some kind of physical kind of activity. Physical activity. Go to the park outside. or something. Yeah. That's really interesting. So did did what Melody learned at Healthy Heroes and brought home? Did you try to incorporate that in with your yes, family? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole my family is involved in the 
and their food and make exercise. So. Mm -hmm. And have you been able to make some changes in the way your family does yes, things? We do yes, we do changes. Because we drink milk. We used to just like drink um, just regular milk, but now we ha we change it to skim milk. Mm -hmm. So my now my dad um, gets the skim milk um, from the store, but now it's like we drink it with cereal and everything. My my whole family does it. That's great. And so, w have you been telling every anyone else about Healthy Heroes about five two one zero? Um, I've told some of my friends that you shouldn't drink chocolate milk. Like mm -hmm. um, they say, I love chocolate milk. I think it, they say it's healthy, but I say no, it's not healthy. Yes, no, <laughs> no. I always get skim milk from the cafeteria when I eat lunch, but my friends like get chocolate milk, and mm -hmm. I say it's not healthy. Is it hard for you to stick with those things, or you you're it's okay? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm you don't you don't miss that. the chocolate milk or the Coke? No, I don't really. That's awesome. Like only in events, we sometimes like drink Coke, but not like barely any. Mm-hmm. So. And um, what did, what changes did you see in Melody as she was participating in the program? Oh, she started to lose pounds because she is was. She started to lose weight. Maybe uh, yeah, she was she lost weight. Uh -huh. That was my point in the program. Uh huh. So that's um, it's. Is now I saw her more more healthy. Uh -huh. Eat the portions, the whole the flu, fruit and the the food in the plate. Uh huh. It's yeah, talking about portion sizes. The por portion mm -hmm. sizes of the food, and eat more fruit and vegetables, and she's making exercise or oh, any moving all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I love it because I don't want to watch TV or watch movies and the. You, you were even telling me earlier that when you do watch TV, you, you try like to do... Gymnastics. Yeah. Like, I do a front walk over, then I end up, like, so close to the TV, I'm like this, and then I do, like, back over, back walk over all the way um, back to the couch, and, like, <laughs> the cartwheels and splits. So you're and, active even when you're watching yeah. TV. That's great. Yeah. What a great little story that mm. was. I really enjoy talking to her. What do you guys think about her success story? Well, that melts my heart. Yeah. <laughs> she was very well spoken, I have to say. Yeah. Um, 10 years old. <laughs> but what an awesome impact um, something like 5210 has had on not only her, but her family. Yeah, right. To see her mom on board mm -hmm. and her dad now drinking skim milk. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big step. What struck me was it's, she was so enthusiastic, and it was also positive. It wasn't yeah. a message of shame right. or you, you need to lose weight. It was like we're making Absolutely. fun, positive choices. Yeah. And in our small changes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that you have to do everything at, at once. once right. But, you know, I think as we heard from Melody, you know, they they replaced that soda. And that, mm -hmm. that was a, a, mm -hmm. a small change. And, and they've been building on those goals as they've gone along. Yeah. And that's really what it's all about. Right. Great. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, do you find, especially, I guess, for you, Adriel, that, mm -hmm. you know, someone like Melody who is in elementary school, but does that message of 5210, does it translate to the older adolescents or even to adults? Absolutely. Um, we have a secondary nutrition educator as well that concentrates on middle and high school students, and the 5210 message um, is accepted just as well there. Um, they really grasp it. As Kari said, it's easy. Yeah, it works right. for everyone. Does, yeah. does it apply to adults? Of course. It's not just yeah. for kids. We should no, all be doing this. I challenge you to try 5210. I've, I've <laughs> been trying to do 5210, and it's, it is a little bit challenging. I think sometimes people see the full set of goals, and they, it looks a little intimidating. Like, I have to do all of this. I, you know, it, it starts to feel maybe like a little bit like a diet. So how, what are some of the tips you give to people to actually incorporating this in ways that work? Um, uh, focusing on the small change, yes. mm -hmm. small changes, mm -hmm. um, picking one goal at a time, mm -hmm. seeing if you can build off of it. Right. Um, and I usually encourage, try that one goal for one day. The mm -hmm. next day, try a new goal. And as you continue to rotate, eventually it becomes a lifestyle. Uh -huh. um, and it's not like you have to accomplish that goal that day. You're trying it, and it'll come back around where you can try it again. Yeah, so it's not like if you, if you mess up or if you don't fully meet the goal that you, you're off the bandwagon and you might as well just right. forget it. You just try it a little bit harder the next day. Yep. Great. Um, are people or parents especially surprised by any of the components of 5210, the goals specifically? Uh, well, I could say, yes, parents and actually students, I think. The, the one that I primarily get questions about, I would say, is the zero, and uh -huh. that's um, no soda or sugar-sweetened sports or fruit drinks. Instead, it says drink more water and non-fat or 1% milk. 
So what's a lot the of, difficulty? Well, I think the the question there is, kids come and they say, well, sports drinks are good for you, mm -hmm. you know, oh. Gatorade and Powerade and things like that. After, um, you know, I go to my athletics training mm. and things like that, they understand that that's a healthy drink, and really, it's not. Um, that we want to throw away juice and milk and all these things out of their diet. Those are, those are key players, you know, in a child's diet, but we want to encourage the consumption of water. Most of us are dehydrated and don't even know it. Um, and for a kid to be dehydrated, um, that really causes a lot of issues. So it's more about encouraging water consumption. Great. I guess if we could just broaden it out a little bit, what, what's next on the horizon for 5210 and, and for, I guess, healthy weight in, in general? As Janet mentioned, we have another um, Healthy Sarasota County Child Care mm -hmm. Initiative, but we're also excited to be launching um, this Healthy Sarasota County Initiative for workplaces oh. as mm -hmm. well. So, um, you know, you, you asked if the, the message would relate to adults, and right. we certainly hope yeah. it yeah. will, yeah. and we'll be um, monitoring that in a workplace setting because just as you, as you would do in a school or a child care center, there are so many things that you can do in a work environment um, to make small changes that will support healthier lifestyles. And Something you mentioned to me earlier that really stuck in my head was trying to make the right choice the easy choice. Right. That's what it's all about, and, and making those changes in your environment so that it's easier to opt for the water. And maybe that means um, changing your vending machine so that the healthier options are at a better price point than the unhealthy options. Great. Or making your stairs more inviting um, in a workplace. Small changes like that can make a big difference in terms of, um, in, you know, just creating those healthier habits. Well, thank you. We are nearing the end of our time. If people were interested in learning more about 5210, about Healthy Heroes, about Healthy Sarasota County, uh, where would they go? The best place to go is our website, healthysarasota.com. Um, we have key contacts on there and all of the information about what's happening in each of these different sectors. So it's a, a great place to, to start out if you want to learn more. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. I, I want to thank you again for being part of uh, Get to Know 5210. Um, I'd like to thank Kari Ellingstead and Janet Kahn and Adriel Zahnheiser. Thanks also to the Florida Department of Health and to um, the Education Channel for hosting this program. Yeah. Um, and of course, thanks to all the viewers out there. Um, I'm Brad Bryan, and I'd just like to remind you to make 5210 your goal every day.